with the little mouse. You should open your present. It's Christmas Day. Yes, I should, chuckled Santa. Now I wonder what it is. Oh, look at how pretty that looks. The end. Wow, that was a really good story, right? Yeah. Wow, I really like to read books. And this Christmas story really made me think about the holiday that's coming up. Do you guys know what holiday is coming up? Do you guys know? Yeah. What is it? It's Christmas. It is Christmas. Christmas is celebrated on December 25th. Here in America, we typically open presents on Christmas Day. However, not everybody does that. <laughs> different people celebrate different things and that's okay. So if you at home celebrate Christmas like us, then how cool. But if you don't, that's still cool too. I'm sure you have your own family celebrations too. Now, let's talk about something. Did you know that in Mexico, they have something called posadas? Did you guys know that? No. Yeah, that's a celebration where people go and they go knocking on doors, singing Christmas songs to them. When they go and knock on the door, then the people come in and they're welcome to come in to eat pan dulce, that's sweet breads, and drink hot chocolate. Sometimes they eat some special foods called tamales too. That is so cool. I've never done that before, have you guys? No. I really wish I could do that. <sighs> but here in America, we open presents on Christmas Day, the 25th. Christmas Eve, usually some people gather too to have a fancy Christmas dinner. Whatever it is that your family does at home is just right for you. Now, wow, this Christmas story really made me think about the elf on the shelf. Oh yeah. I wonder where our elf on the shelf is today. Yeah. We didn't look for it today, did we? Yeah. Let's go ahead and look. Oh, we have so many Christmas decorations here. I wonder if he's sneaking under here. Let's take a look. <sighs> hey, Delilah, I found your Elsa doll. You're welcome. Oh, I don't think it's here. Let's keep looking. Oh, you're right, Delilah. She found it. Come on. I've never seen a note get left by the elf in the shelf before, have you? Oh, I wonder what it says. Oh, you see, this is why it's so important that you go to school and you learn to read. I'm so happy that I know how to read. You know how to read too, right guys? Yeah. Wow. Dear Abby, Ryan, and Delilah, I have a little surprise for you. Use the magical gloves to pick me up. This way, I won't lose my magic. Whoa, he says he left his gloves. Oh. Remember, I'm always watching. P.S. I also left Santa sprinkles in case somebody accidentally touches me. Love, Buddy the Elf. Wow, take a look. Oh, isn't this amazing? Yeah. I can't believe it. It's a real note from the elf on the shelf. Oh, it said that there's gloves in there. Please check. Whoa. There are some gloves. Let me take a look. Whoa. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And they're just right. Oh, we're going to share these. Yes, that's right, friends. Because remember, it's really important to share, right? Yeah. yeah. Friends always share. And we always help each other. Yeah. So can you please help me to see what else there is? Oh, Abby, look. I found the sprinkles. <gasps> Hand it to our friend Delilah. What is it? Show it. Sprinkles, is that, that's the magical dust, the Santa dust that they said was included. Remember, we use this magical Santa dust in case one of us accidentally touches the elf on the shelf without the magical gloves. Wow, 
Oh, I'm gonna save this note forever. Take a look, it's for you and for you too. It's for the three of us. Wow, we must have been really good this year, huh guys? Yeah. 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 Now, I'm gonna take the gloves and I'm going to keep them in a safe place. We share them, okay? Wow, I always wanted to touch that elf on the shelf. Now I can actually do it with these magical gloves. So here we go. Wow, he's so soft. Oh, oh you guys are gonna love it. Give it a try. Here you go, Delilah. Your turn. Hey. Here you go, Ryan. Your turn. Abby, you hold it? Of course I'll hold it. Oh, you're gonna love touching it. Go ahead, Ryan, grab him. Grab him and then go ahead and hand it to Delilah. Go ahead and hand it to her. Wow, how does it feel? Good. It feels good. Ryan, are you super excited? Yeah. Oh, this is so cool. All right, let's go ahead and carefully put him back in there. We don't want to overdo it. Put him just as he was. That's it. Oh, that was so cool. Go ahead and take the glove off. And what we'll do is we'll definitely keep it in the same place. Here's one glove, two gloves. <laughs> and look, there's room for each one of our five fingers. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. We're going to make sure we don't have to use the Santa magical dust. This only has to be used if somebody accidentally touches them with their bare hands. We're gonna leave it right there. Oh, that was so cool. You know what would be even more cool? If we could see the real Santa Claus, huh? Yeah. Oh, maybe on December 25th, when we leave a milk and cookie, we might catch him in the act and then we can see him and say hi. Yeah. yeah. Well, for now, we're gonna keep this note in a very special safe. Go ahead and put it right by the tree. Yeah, and we'll put the gloves right there. Now, what should we do next? I know, Abby. We should decorate for Christmas. That's a great idea. Coming up. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Wow, look at all of these different decorations. Yeah, these are different decorations that we can put up for Christmas. I love the holidays, don't you? Yeah. Oh, look, this is a cute Christmas house. Oh, it's my ornament, my Abby ornament. Wow, oh, this one's yours, Delilah. Oh, look at my ornament. Yeah, and it has your name. I love it. Let's go ahead and put it up in the tree. Yeah. yeah. Wow, decorating is so fun. Okay, Delilah, help us decorate over there too. Go ahead and grab the penguin. Delilah, here. You know what would be really cool? Yeah. Oh, it would be really cool if we can have our very own snow. Whoa. Well, right now it's not snowing where we live, but we can make our own snow. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Let's do it. Friends at home, maybe you live far away from the snow like we do. So what you can do is make your very own snow at home. These are the ingredients. You're going to need some. Baking soda, a container to mix in, and some water. You got it, water. That's it, baking soda and water. Then you're going to need maybe a couple of forks to mix. Okay, 
made. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one cup of baking soda. If you want to make more, then you can just add more. We're going to put one cup of baking soda. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of water at a time. I'm using the half a cup, but half a cup is probably too much. I'm just gonna take a little bit, about that much, and then just carefully pour it in. And then we'll see if we need to add more. So let's try it. We're going to take the fork and we're going to mix it in. Well, it definitely needs more. I can see the, the snow is already forming, but let's add some more. We're going to carefully do a couple of drops like that, and then we'll add more if we need to. It already looks like snow, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, let me try. Get the fork, blend it all in. Wow, it looks really good. Oh, I'm gonna add a tiny bit more water, just a tiny bit. One, two, three drops. Mix, mix, mix. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and roll my sleeves up. <gasps> Ryan and Delilah, make sure you roll your sleeves up too. We don't wanna get dirty. Yeah. While you guys roll your sleeves up, I'm gonna finish mixing. <laughs> this really looks like snow. Take a look, guys. Wow, I love the snow. <gasps> when we go to the mountains, it's fun to play with the yeah. snow. Yeah. What do you like to make with the snow, Ryan? I like to make a snowman. What? Do you like to make a snowman? Yeah. Ha, guess what? We can make a snowman. Ready? Yeah. Let's test it out. Oh. Wow, it feels like snow. Go ahead, feel it. Go ahead and grab it. <laughs> it really does feel like snow and you can form it yeah. into little circles just yeah. like snow. Yeah. Now guess what? what? We can make a snowman. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get the boards out so we can make a snowman. Yeah. One for you. Let's get this one out of the way. one for me and Delilah too. Ready? So let's go ahead and grab some snow. You're going to form it into little circles so we can make a snowman. It feels just like the real thing guys. It's powdery and soft, huh Ryan? Yeah, Abby, you can help me. Of course. Take a look. I made that one for you. Look, Abby, I made a bow. Well, you did. I think that could be um, the snowman's head. <laughs> so cool. I'm going to go ahead and make another part of the snowman body. Here we go. Wow. No. It's so cool, huh? Yeah. And it feels so soft. <sighs> this one's just about done. This one's the body. Yeah, that could be the bottom part of the body, huh? Yeah. So look, a cup of baking soda and a little bit of water is just about enough snow to make one snowman. Yeah. So look, I'm going to put my body right here on top of Delilah's. And Ryan, you can go ahead and add the head. Very good job. Wow, we really made it look like a real snowman, huh guys? <laughs> now, what is our snowman missing? Hmm. A nose. A nose, it is missing a nose. How about if we use toothpick as a nose? I'm gonna snap it in half and then we can carefully put it in like this. <laughs> There's a nose. What else is it missing? It is missing eyes, ready? How about if we use these little sequins as the eyes? Yeah. How many eyes should we add? Two. Two eyes, that's a great idea. One. And Ryan, you wanna carefully add the other eye? Wow, oh, look, our snowman is looking really good. But we need arms. It does need arms. Let's go ahead and add some arms. Ready? I'm going to break another toothpick in half. We're gonna put one arm here and another arm on the other side. Do you guys love it? Yeah. So cool and easy 
easy to make at home. You can make your very own snowman at home. Now, what else could we add? I think it's missing a scarf. Ah. <laughs> You're right, it is missing a scarf. So we're gonna use some yarn, about three pieces. You don't have to use three pieces, you can just use one. And we're just going to carefully wrap it around. Like that. Now he has a scarf. Well, Abby, the snowman looks cool. Yes, but, it does. But it's missing a hat. It is missing a hat. Hmm, what can I use as a hat? Hmm, ah, I know what we could use for a hat. We could use a button, a really big one. What color should we use? Blue. Let's do it. We're gonna lay the big blue button on the top like that. <laughs> now he has a hat too. Do you guys love it? Yeah. I hope you guys had fun making your very own snow and snowman or whatever it is that you're building with your snow at home. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way, every time one of our new videos comes out, you'll be the first one to know. We love to learn and teach you new things every day. So remember, Abby's friends always do these three things. We always listen to our parents, respect others, and do our best. Yes, sir, we learn, explore, discover with Abby. That's me. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Let's go ahead and make something else now. Yeah. What should we make with the snow now? Let's make a dog. Let's do it. See you next time.